I just got banned from the server, but not by the use of commands or anything like that. On the Lifesteal SMP, every time you kill someone, you steal one of their hearts. And if you run out of hearts, you're banned from the server. But to understand why I was banned, I need to tell you the story of how I ended my own empire. You see, at the start of the Prince M empire, our main mission was to clean up spawn. But after a player named Clown Pierce took everything we did the wrong way, he declared war on us along with another player, Radunes. These two began fighting us over and over until one day where I celebrated a victory a little too hard by building a huge Prince Am Empire banner right in the center of the server. By building this banner, I essentially made it look like I took over spawn, which a lot of people did not like. And on top of this, the Prince Am Empire's main goal had shifted from fixing spawn to fighting Radunes and Clown Pierce. And after seeing all of my mistakes at once, I realized the Prince Am Empire needed to go. So I gave Radunes an offer. He would have to assemble a team that would fight against me, and if they were to win, the Prince Am Empire, as well as myself, would be removed from the server permanently. It was essentially my way of surrendering without surrendering. And after an unbelievably one-sided battle, resulting in all my allies dying, it was time for me to leave the server forever. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the history of the Prince M Empire. At least, until now. The other night, I was called by a player named Vitalacy. He told me that my closest ally spoke, joined Clown Pierce's team, Decimation, and were working together to kill and ban every player off the server. And after hearing this, I knew exactly what I needed to do. It was time for me to return to Lifesteal and have my redemption arc. But there was still one big problem. The only way to get revived on the server is by using four hearts, four nether stars, and an elytra to craft a beacon of light. Lucky for me, Vitalacy Vitalcy had a few laying around, as his current goal on the server is to unban every player who's been banned by Decimation. And to make sure he completed his goal, he decided to unban me so that I could help him. However, we weren't exactly in the clear yet, as when you get revived, you only come back with three whole hearts. So if my enemies managed to kill me three times before I get into contact with Vitalcy, it would all be over. But luckily, we had a team of players waiting to extract me from spawn. So now all I had to do was log in and start running. Go, 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 go. Okay, everyone's ready? Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, where's it? Where is it? I'm in an obsidian box with smoke! What? Oh, what? 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 Our enemies were a step ahead of us. Because my bed was never broken, I would still respawn right next to it. So my enemies put an obsidian box around it and were now farming me for hearts. The only way I could get out of here was if my teammates saved me. All I could do now was wait. I'm basically just a hostage now. After a lot of fighting, my teammates broke the bed, but after I tried respawning, I was still there somehow. I'm in another obsidian box! Oh, they put the bed back! Oh, uh, okay. Well, place plus. <laughs> Our enemies were yet another step ahead of us, and now I was down to one heart. If I died one more time, this entire operation was all over. But we refused to give up, so Subs popped a god apple, ran into the room, broke the bed, and the second he did, I pressed respawn and started running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm, running. I'm going to the ocean monument. I'm going to the Mapic monument. All right, all right, I'll pick you up, I'll pick you up, Zen. Don't even, don't even tell us where you go. Just get out. They, they know you respawn, I think. They know you respawn. Yeah, so let's just go yeah. in that way. Oh god, I found an island. Yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm at the island. I'm at the island. Oh, yes, I'm at you. Wait, what? Sam. Go, 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 go! Get me out of here! Prince Sam secured with one heart! No, Sam, I have a shulker for you. Okay, okay, okay. Take all that. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh my god, wow. What's up, gamers? Oh, oh, Leo! Oh, oh gamers. thank god! Right, so what do we do now? What, what do we do now? Oh yeah, I, I have someone's regen shoulder. Smokes here, smokes here! Oh, what? Is he? Oh yeah, he is, he is, he is, he is. Okay. Move, move, go, go, go! Just distract him, hold him back, don't let him follow us. Okay, come on, Leo, you stay with me, okay? Right. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the I know a place to go, I know a place to go. Just follow me, just follow me. Guys, we should, Zam, Zam. Right, Zam, right, Zam, Zam. Zam, Zam, Zam. We should end this, yeah, we should, we should, we should, we should. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're baiting, we're baiting. That's true, that's true, because then I don't know who's it. Bro! What the? Sorry, guys. What? So the enemy was yet another step ahead of us this entire time. Leowook had betrayed us, and I was back to having nothing to my name. And after losing a combined total of four hearts today, our enemies decided to log off, and I was safe to roam the server again. The first thing I did was go full invis and run as far as I could so I could start setting up a base. And after starting the base, you can't decided handle to show can't up. Handle it. Ah! And after spending all day working on the base together, something insane happened. Smoke second layer! Smoke second layer! He's here! 
Uh oh. Peggy! What the hell? That's my clown log on! Peggy, what do I do? Get the boxes, get the boxes. Okay, abandon ship, abandon ship. Just grab as much as you can, put it in your inner chest. It's only a matter of time before clowns here. And within six hours of this base existing, it was compromised. So now me and Peggy had to find a new area to build a new base. However, our base is being compromised wasn't our only problem. I happen to have five hearts to my name. And in a few days, my team planned on fighting Clown Pierce while he would be busy showing a guest around the server. So if I wanted to be any help to my team, I would need more than five hearts. And while constructing my next base, I was given an offer by a player named Pofa. For the cost of absolutely nothing, I could gain six hearts as well as maxed out gear. Now, Pofa is a player that isn't really affiliated with anyone, so I figured considering the reward was so high, this was definitely worth the risk. So I traveled to Popa's base, and what do you know, all the stuff he promised me was just sitting there in a chest. So now with 11 hearts to my name, I began making the final preparations for our battle against Smoke and Clown. But after a little bit, I realized I needed some help. However, the only possible person who could help me was Don Turn. Now, for those of you that don't know, me and Don don't really have the best relationship on the Lifesteal SMP. As on the very first day of the server, I killed him. And then after that, I killed him some more. And then he threatened to blow up the entirety of the Prince M Empire and then ended up doing so after I was banned. However, the Prince M Empire is behind me now. And if I wanted to prove that to anybody, then what better way to do so than by teaming up with one of my former enemies? And after a long night of plotting out revenges and gearing up together, me and Don were officially teammates. And now that I had Dawn on my side, as well as Vitalis' team, it was time for us to go to war against Clown and Spoke. Clown Pierce's guest, Tubbo, had logged onto the server and was being shown around by him and his team. Meanwhile, our team was devising a plan to take them all down. You see, Clown Pierce wanted to show Tubbo his casino, and inside of that casino was a roulette table that was unbelievably rigged. So with the help of resident redstone engineer, Mr. Q, we were going to rig the casino against Clown Pierce so that Tubbo would win every single time he rolled. Bad news was, Clown and Tubbo were inside of the casino right now. So in order to make sure my teammates could get in undetected, I went to the casino and began causing a distraction. I'm placing the banners. I'm placing the banners. <laughs> What the f However, Clown's guards are being unbelievably aggressive. So if I wanted to cause a proper distraction, I'd need some backup. Yo, the whole gang's here in front of the circus right now. <laughs> Yo, guys, what's going on? We were not kept in the loop. What the heck is going yeah, on? What is going on? Mr. Cube 6 is on Vitalis' account right now, rigging the redstone. Let's get up in his face. Let's get up in his face. Hey, what's up, Spokies? Hey, what's up, Spokies? It's like five people. If we all credit, that'd be crazy. I'm so down. I'll join you. Ride or die. Ride or die. Ride or die. Ride or die. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, oh, he, he has my cards, he has my cards. Okay, he's going silly mode, but just protest. Bro, okay, okay, I'm okay. protesting. What the fuck? I'm typing! Oh, no, everyone's here, everyone's here. Okay, they're trying to fall oh, back now. Okay, everyone run, everyone run. Are you guys still I'm fighting? Because I can... What? Why did Pangy log? Why did Pangy log? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Pangy was my stasis. So with Pangy logged out, I had no choice but to run away. Luckily, nobody other than Don <laughs> died. And on top of that, thanks to our distraction, our teammates were able to make it under the casino undetected. And now that the casino was rigged so that Mr. Cube could control the roulette table, all we had to do now was sit back and watch Tubbo gamble. However, as soon as he started winning, Clown Pierce deemed the machine broken and went down to check on the redstone. And thanks to Clown's absence, Subs was able to jump down into the room where Brand he was and took him out with the TNZ minecart, which forced Clown's teammates out of hiding and marked the start of our attack. Okay. Oh, sir, I'm, sir. I'm like, oh, low, right. goodness. Oh, Smoke careful. is like aggroing on me. Nice. Okay, I'm good. Smoke's like jump boosting around. I'm fighting Smoke at the zoo. I'm low. I'm low. Yeah, I'm low. I'm low. I'm low. I'm low. I'm here you, go, here you go. Kick his ass, Pangy, come on! Help them! Oh, we, gotta him, we gotta help him, we gotta help him, we gotta help him. I'm here, okay, I'm I got here. his water, I got his water, I got his water, I got his water! Got him! Just like that, Spoke was defeated, but. I kind of felt bad. Spoke has been my ally since the beginning of this season, and fighting him now made me feel terrible about myself. It made me start questioning my morals. Was the path I was on truly the right one? Was stopping Spoke the right idea? In an event known as the cleansing, just a few months before this, Spoke and I killed every player on the server in order to gain enough hearts to restore every player back to 10 hearts, which ended up bringing about peace to the server. But during the cleansing, everyone thought we were villainous and wanted to kill everyone just for the sake of it. However, at the end of the 
cleansing, we were revered as heroes, bringing about peace to lifesteal. And remembering the cleansing made me realize, what if Spoke is doing the same thing here? Banning every player just to look like the bad guy, and then revealing that he was actually doing something good the entire time. Was I foolish for standing up against him? Or has he truly changed and actually wants to end the server? I couldn't stop thinking about these questions, so I went back to the base and abandoned the battle. But before I could log out, Clown Pierce's guest, Tubbo, decided to call a peace meeting at spawn. This was 99% a trap, so to make sure that my teammates didn't get themselves into any trouble, I decided to attend. Right, everyone on the sponge, how can I right all wrongs? What, what wrongs have gone on? Tubbo, I don't think you can just show up one day and just fix everything that's happened. I mean, there's, a, there's been a lot of murder. There's yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of murder. Quite a lot. Bro, Cloud, Cloud! <laughs> and just as I thought, it was all a trap. It's clear that all Clown Pierce wants is for everyone to die. And if that's who Spoke wants to align himself with, then so be it. However, despite my death, the peace meeting continued. Tubbo suggested we all went down to six hearts together. And surprisingly, the server agreed, including Spoke. And now most of the server, including myself, were down to six hearts. However, something still didn't feel right. I'd also like to mention Clown Pierce has left the area, I'm pretty sure. Where is he? Yeah, I'm yeah, very concerned. Is, I'm over here. I was over there. Come on, come on. Hey guys. You owe me 14. I owe you 14 hearts? You owe me 14 hearts. I'll come over to you. I know everyone scares you. Some deadliest player I am. It's very <laughs> admirable of you, what you're trying to do with the server here. Clown, it'll work. We're and all on I page am, with it. I'm sure we all are, but Tubbo, uh, oh, that's not how oh, life still oh, works. Oh. Clown, get him, get him, get, get, get Clown, get Clown, get Clown. Clown Pierce had just banned Tubbo off of the server because for some reason, the man holding 37 hearts only had one equipped. So with 37 hearts in Clown's possession, the server was at its complete <laughs> lowest point. Oh yeah, and not to mention, I have six hearts now. You're such an, you're so problematic, Clown Pierce. <laughs> Why are you so problematic? We were all... You know what you are, Clown? You're a coward. You're yeah, a coward. Yeah, yeah, you are a coward. Number. You can't accept That's balance, you can't coward. accept anything. I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to kill you. I mean, you've tried. <laughs> I've succeeded before too. What about Branzy? What does Branzy feel about this? 40 hearts. 40. Nobody can resist 40 hearts. At least I can. So after all of that, we were hit with the biggest reveal of them all. Clown Pierce had betrayed Spoke. And now he wanted to join our side and help us revive everybody who's been banned. So we came up with a plan. Currently, there were five people banned from the server. Bacon Waffles, Mid Mystic, Planet Lord, Rochambeau Games, and Spectacle. And if we wanted to revive all of them, we'd need about 20 hearts. The bad news was, we didn't have anywhere near that amount of hearts on hand. However, as a collective, we did have well over 20 hearts equipped. So after pooling our own combined hearts together, we were able to revive everybody that Clown Pierce and his team had banned. However, Clown and his teammates were going around killing everyone we just revived, as well as any other players that they could find. So we took every player we found back to our secret hideout in order to keep them safe for the time being. I see a name tag. Is that oh, someone what? trustworthy? Oh, that's Clown, that's Clown, that's Clown, that's Clown! That's clown. Me. Okay, 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 run, 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 come down, come down, go escape! Down the fountain, down the fountain, go, go, go! Everyone dip, everyone dip. Just go, just go! Where should we go? Where should we go? go? I'm in the rowboat, okay, go! I'm playing with you. You guys can leave if you need to. Subs was fighting Clown, and because we didn't want to leave him behind, we decided to take advantage of the fact that we were invisible and run into the battle without Clown realizing who any of us were. This way, he'd have no idea that most of us had three or less hearts, which hopefully would make him scared enough to run away. So now it's time for us to pull off Operation Jump Clown Pierce. <laughs> He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. No idea, he has no idea. He's acting like you have hearts. He's gonna try fighting back, he's gonna, he's fighting back, he's fighting back. Thank you, clown, thank you, clown, thank you, clown. He's running, he's running. Save your two hearts. I'm on him. I'm so afraid, I'm at three, bro. I'm here for my third heart, clown. It's under the big platform. I threw, I poisoned him, I think. Oh, he sees me. Oh my god. Yes! No, we won! Easier than expected, Clown was defeated. But where one problem ended, another one arose. In the background of our fight with Clown, his teammates were going around killing as many players as possible. And because of this, most of the server was anywhere between 2 and 10 hearts. Majority of them being under 5. And because of everyone's lack of hearts, people were already on the verge of getting banned again. So now our goal changed from getting hearts to revive people, to getting hearts to give away. And after traveling back to my base with all my allies, we began devising a plan to get more hearts. But before I could even finish my thoughts, it seemed as if we were followed. Oh, Brazier, 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 Brazier! I'm eating, bro. I'm literally eating. Wait, how? I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting killed. I'm getting killed. Pengy, help. Pengy, help. Okay, we're two going to pair. We're two going to pair. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. Smoke helpful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's helping. Yeah, okay. Jan's here too. Jan's here too. Let's go. 
Oh my god. Going up, going up, going up. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Thanks to my teammates, I managed to survive this attack. But unfortunately, now that Parrot knew where our base was, we had no choice but to move out. Otherwise, the enemies would be able to ambush us whenever they please. So after gathering all our resources and letting Parrot get away, I set out to find myself a new base. And with Pengi's help, we were able to turn this cave into our third base, which we called the Lifesteal Republic. This was in order to attract as many players as possible and keep them safe from Clown and his team within the base. And after two days of building up this base and making it the best one I've ever made, we were ready to invite our first player, Don Turn. After the chaos that ensued, Tubbo joining the server, Don lost his six-month project as well as seven of his hearts, bringing him down to three. So I brought him to the base and gave him maxed out gear. Next up was Terrain, who claimed he was on one heart and also continuously dealt damage to himself so that I would freak out. Hey, Prince Sam, check this out. Please stop Come doing man. this. Stop <laughs> jumping on Dripstone terrain. Oh the last person I brought to the Lifesteal Republic was Ashwag. He desperately needed items because he lost everything the same day Tubbo joined. So now, with Vitality using all his hearts to revive everyone, Subs being too sick to log on, and Pangy being on vacation, my only teammates were now the three people I recruited, as well as Spoke and Mapic, who would come by the base every now and then. They were all I had, and I was gonna protect them no matter what. However, while me, Ash, Spoke, and Mapic were chilling in the base, we were attacked by Clown Pierce. That is not- Bro! Oh! We're actually getting jumped! We're actually getting jumped! Wait, we're actually getting jumped! Ain't no dead. way. Maybe, no. Should I come back down? Should I come back down? I'm only at six. I'm, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I can't eat gaps. What? I'm dead. I need help, Spoke. I need help. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm, in the, I'm at my spawn. Trapped in a room just a few blocks away from Clown Pierce, I was completely helpless. All I could do now was wait around until Spoke saved me. I'm digging down. I'm right above you. I'm right above okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Quick, quick. Lead the way, lead the way, lead the way. Come on. Be near. I don't know. We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. You're going nether? Yeah, yeah, go nether, go nether, go, just go, just go. Two days of hard work was gone instantly. Not only that, there was a 99% chance that one of the people that knew where the base was, was a spy for Clown. Seeing as Clown was able to block up our emergency escape route instantly, and enter the base without causing any noise. But of course, I was still running for my life, so I decided to push the mole thing aside for now. Sadly, my teammate Terrain logged on, still in the base, and Clown was able to kill him instantly. So to make sure the same thing didn't happen to my teammate Dawn, I needed to do something to get Clown away from the base. So me and Spoke set up a stasis chamber, and I asked Clown to meet me at the Prince Zam Empire. Oh, I see him. Okay, I see him. You see? We should try to fight him. Oh, he has cobwebs in the second hand. Uh oh. Hello, <laughs> hi Clown. Hi. So, I have a deal, right? Netherite for hearts. Dawn had logged on and was able to escape the area. So now all I had to do was ask Spoke to pull the stasis. However... And I have eight netherite, so... Are you willing to give me four hearts for eight netherite? Yeah. Thank you. What's up? Pull, 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 pull! Okay. Yeah, that didn't work. Your, your pearl is gone. <laughs> okay, look. I know I died, but I promise it's okay. Dawn got out of the base safely. And now we could build base number four. To start base number four, we traveled to a base that's been long abandoned and stole two villagers from it. After that, we put those villagers into a hole and began building the base. Luckily, this is where the bad news ended because subs decided to log on for the first time in a while and went on a quest to get us some hearts by grinding raids. Except, remember when I said the bad news ended? I lied. Good morning. Wake up, Mr. This game. <laughs> oh, and to make matters worse, remember how Subs is grinding raids? Yeah, Clown Pierce is there too and killing him now. Thankfully, Subs was able to escape, but we couldn't help but wonder, how did Clown find Subs? The village that Subs was using was over 6k blocks out, and the only people that knew where it was were me, Dawn, and Spoke. On top of that, when Subs returned to the village, he noticed that someone broke into the only villager house left and killed all the villagers. And if Subs and Clown were fighting each other, and me and Dawn were building the base, the only person online who was unaccounted for was Spoke. Meaning that this entire time, Spoke was the mole. Filled with rage, me and Dawn decided that we were gonna dedicate this next base to trapping Spoke. So we spent all night filling the base with TNT and setting up a minecart track that would send TNT minecarts into all the other TNT, exploding it all and killing Spoke instantly. All that was left for us to do was wait for Spoke to enter the base and then start running. But there was one small flaw in our plan. Spoke was suspicious of us and refused to enter the base. So instead, he sent Clown Pierce in. Oh my god, Clown's in the base, Clown's in the base. What? Clown's in the base. What? Oh, oh, oh. Sam, run! Don, I'm running, I'm running. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Run, 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 run. 
go, go, go. This went so poorly. This is bad. God damn it. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just, run. just go. Goodness. That is... There Whoa. goes our plan. Okay, wow. There goes our plan. No! What? Oh, my God. You fell? I'm on half a heart. Done. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. I'm okay, come on. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Did, did you activate it? He activated it. He activated. After barely escaping our own trap, Don and I found an abandoned base and stole two horses. And after traveling a couple thousand blocks, I started to feel discouraged. I had four whole hearts to my name, while Don only had three. Meanwhile, our enemies all have 20 hearts. And on top of that, tomorrow is the last day of the server. This whole exploding our entire base plan was the last move we were gonna make. But sadly, now that this trap has failed, there was nothing we could do. I mean, with seven hearts combined between the two of us, going up against an army full of people with 20 hearts just seemed impossible. There was no last move for me and Dawn, and this was gonna be the end for us. In short, I've lost everything. My hearts, my bases, all of my builds, my friends, and now my determination to keep going. I was ready to give Dawn my last hearts and just give up. But I can't give up yet. Vitality revived me so I could bring back peace to the server. My friends sacrificed their hearts and put their faith into me so that I could save this server. Even my former arch nemesis Radun sacrificed his own hearts to revive me so that I could save this server. So if I were to give up now, I'd be letting them down a lot more than if I died fighting against Clown. So I wasn't going to give up. I wasn't gonna let them have the last laugh. I was gonna spend the next 24 hours of my life grinding the SMP as long as I can at least stand a fighting chance against my enemies tomorrow. I will grind as much gear as necessary, I will rally as many players as possible, and I will fight as many people as I need to to save the Lifesteal SMP. That is my one sole purpose, and if I don't fulfill it, then I'll be letting everybody, including myself, down. So I gathered as many allies as I still had alive, and after adding them all to a group chat, I had a very solid list of allies for the fight to come. And after receiving every single item in Redunes' ender chest, we had enough emeralds for Don to trade with villagers all day long. And while he was doing all the trading, I was out getting as many materials as I could so that we could craft as many hearts as we needed. And after a full 12 hours of grinding non-stop, we were ready to save the Lifesteal SMP. Recrap 2, one of Clown's allies decided to message me about having a meeting before the final battle. I agreed to it as long as I could bring my allies with me, just in case anything went south. And after making our way to spawn, we got on a call with Rec. Can I have you do something for me, Zen? What is it? It's just a simple task. You, I you love doing exactly along. what my enemy tells me. Okay. Step one, take this. I'm gonna need you to stand on this clay block. Is this a trust test or something, or am I gonna die? Now, I, I need you to start jumping up and down. You're gonna minecart me, bro. <laughs> I, I do promise, not believe you. I promise. You're so close. You're so close, yet so far, Zam. Just start jumping. You still have the axe? I do have the axe, yeah. All you gotta do is click now. Ah! Uh, 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 what? What? Uh. Rex? What? Thanks, what? Zam. You have the most epic stream ever. Wait. There's nine hearts for you. <laughs> Rex! Good luck, guys. I got, I got them. I got them. Thank you, Rex. With all the hearts we got off of Rex, as well as the hearts we got off of his alt account, most of my team were above 10 hearts and nearing 20. Our odds had never been higher, and my entire team was filled with confidence. But before I could do any fighting, I still had someone I needed to talk to. My former ally, Spoke, had become the main enemy of today's battle. But I knew it didn't have to be this way. I knew that deep down, the Spoke that I knew was still in there. Ah, oh, look at that. Hello, Prince Sam. Hi. I have a lot to say to you, right? And I first of all, <laughs> you're the worst. Kind of surprised you didn't bring anyone else here. I'm putting my last bit of trust into you because I trust you not to hurt me. It's just us. Damn. I mean, as you know, I did betray you that other day. I, I have been leaking the cords. My question for you, Zam, is why didn't you quit? after the first base was destroyed? Why didn't you quit after the second base was destroyed? Why haven't you quit? Listen to me, Spoke, all right? I want Lifesteal to be perfect. I want it to be in my perfect image. And I'm not gonna stop until that happens. It doesn't matter what banner I use. Prince Sam Empire, Lifesteal Republic, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as Lifesteal can be safe, I'll be happy. Sam, I hope you realize it's already too late. There is no way you can save this world, Sam. I know that you want to revive all the players that are banned currently. You may have the hearts, you may have the nether stars, but I hope you realize there is no more elytras in the end. What? There is a 25k by 25k border in all three dimensions, which means there's only a limited amount of resources for everyone to have. If you had this seed, it would be possible to completely remove these resources from the world, making it oh impossible 
to do some very specific tasks. Ever since you got executed by Redunes, I have been constantly working, constantly grinding to make sure that Lifesteal Season 3 is over because this world doesn't deserve to go on anymore. All four of you may have like 18 to 20 hearts. That's only 2.5 hearts per person on the server. You still have to worry about reviving every single person that is banned right now. And Sam, tell me right now, why is there players on this server actively trying to ban themselves? Why are you trying to save a world that people are actively trying to leave? And why do you keep fighting? I, I don't have any like people here. I don't have any traps set up. Spoke, why are you doing this? What is the reason? I am currently at one heart right now. No. You want a safer world? Spoke, listen, no, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. I came here for answers, not more questions. Reapply the hearts, come on. We don't have to fight. This is literally pointless, come on. Spoke, no, stop. No, do this. Sam, there is no point anymore. This Listen, world no, has already no. been destroyed. Everything Listen. you've been doing over the past few hours, there is no point. Ever since you died to Redunes, you should have stayed dead because this server should have died with you that day. Listen, we were the cleansers. We fixed everything. It didn't we... fix anything, Sam. No, we did. I ruined it. Ruined it. It's all my fault. No. Anyone should be banned. It should be me. Come on, man. Then why don't why don't you join us? No. Why don't you join us? Because I'm not giving up. Wreck has already got banned. Ashrak has gone banned. This is not how I expected today to go at all. You need to stop, okay? Everyone's goal right now is to eventually get banned off this server. Eat, eat, eat gaffles. Come on, please. Take my gaffles. Just please. It doesn't... It, this can't be how it ends come on sam this is this is how it ends and sam think about it you all at 20 hearts you're about to ban a player off the server doesn't this sound familiar that was a mistake on my part i tried claiming everyone's builds i tried doing things that were just not right not meant to happen on lifesteal i have done so much worse on this server so this is this is my no you've done good you brought about the cleansing it. half the server wouldn't be alive without you come on man sam this this was the only way to end these wars because I hope you realize that if I did nothing, we'd still be in some long, drawn-out war between two sides. How about you join their VC? Let me accept my destiny, the same destiny you will all face very soon. Do it, bro. Do it. Come on, bro. Do it right now. Bye, Zam. No, I'm, I'm not gonna it happen, It is okay? gonna happen. It is gonna happen. As much as you say it, it's gonna happen. Goodbye. No! Despite everything I tried, I couldn't save Spoke. He's had his mindset on destroying the server since the day I was banned. While I, on the other hand, had my mind on saving it. No matter how long we talked, neither of us would have changed our minds. We've both been on these paths for far too long to change now. And for that very reason, I wasn't gonna let this affect me. I knew that there were more important things to worry about right now. For example, the fact that Clown Pierce is literally attacking our base right now and killing all my friends. So to make sure that I could hold on to what I still had, I hurried back to the base and began fighting Clown Pierce. Crap. Come on, go, 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 go. Do the minecart, do the minecart, do the minecart. Okay, I'm gonna kill one of you. Okay, oh, you gotta God. go now. So much damage. Oh, Clown is, is going yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care how many bases they destroy, I'm not giving up now. We're not giving up. Don, I don't think you can take that. Don, I don't think you can take all that. No, you can't. Look yes, that. I can. Where'd he go? He's outside, he's, he's going towards portal. He's going towards portal. Get him, get him, you can't let him leave. Slowing us on him, I'm throwing a slowness. Nice, slowness. nice. Crap. Going down this guy. You might have mine cards, be careful. Oh, crap! Oh. Oh. He had a massive trap set up right by our base. After Don blew up, he respawned inside of an obsidian box with Parrot there waiting for him. So we abandoned the clown fight and ran towards spawn. But while we were on our way there, our enemies had revived Spoke and got Woogie to betray us. The bad news was we were unbelievably low on gear after fighting clown. So instead of fighting our enemies, our goal was to get Don out of the box. Don, I'm coming. I'm coming, Don. God bless you, Zan. How about Red. we have like a little bit of a truce? Red. <laughs> oh, no, give, Red! You seven, give you seven hearts. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to lead them away. I made like a nice staircase. Three. Oh, God. Two. No. One. Come on, Don. Come on. I'm, I'm out. Spike's running away. Spike's running away. Run. That's come on. Out of the box. Hey, you don't worry about me. Run. Just get away. Go Just get away. Ah! No, Don. Damn, Don. Oh, I'm done, Peggy. It's over. It's over. It's over. No, 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 no. No! No! 
I was killed. There was no way to save Dawn, and my teammates were doomed. There was only one way I knew of to stop this conflict. It's a method I've used time and time before. I was going to surrender without surrendering. I figured that if I somehow got banned off the server, my teammates would stop fighting and work with our enemies to give the server a peaceful ending. So I called up Spoke and asked him to meet me at my base. There's a bit of truth to what you say. Everyone dying would put the server back together. We'd all be together in season four, but I can't just give up. So I'm not just gonna lay down and die. This is the part where the entire base blows up, but I didn't actually have TNT for that. Instead, I have this. I'm just gonna, yeah. This is really sad, man. This is really sad. If you want me to give up, Spoke, then just keep fighting me. Fight back. Okay. Okay, wow, wow. You are just going for it. Oh my god, wow. Zam, I hope you realize that this is everything no, 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 that no, no, I no, want don't to happen okay. with lifesteal. So you want to just kill me? That's it. This is what I have to do, Zam. Same with clowns, same with everyone else. <laughs> I can get something, surely. I can I can pull something off. I'll fix everything. I'll find a way to survive. Okay, never Zam, mind. there is no reason. I, no, I'll keep fighting till my last breath spoke. I don't want you to die. You don't have to die. Well, I mean, you're the one doing this. Yes. Because this is the only way to save the server. Yeah, I guess this is it for me. Zam, when you first logged in, this is the reason why we spawn trapped you. That's there why? There is a reason why I wanted Leo to be revived instead of you is because you don't give up and it's the most annoying thing ever. And I knew when you were when you escaped that day, I knew that I was in for a very drawn out war. You guys were losing materials, you guys were losing hearts, kept fighting. No one else would just keep fighting like that. No one else would just anyone else would just surrender. And this is exactly why I have to do this. Spoke, I wanted to end the season, you know, not banned. Seems like I just I have to call it here. There's nothing I can do. So you did it. You won. You got me to give up. Congratulations, Spoke. Thank you, Zam. I'm glad I did it. Everything went exactly as I anticipated. After Spoke killed me, my teammates were able to get a few kills on our enemies, and then eventually they all met up at Dawn's Void Trap, where they did a few speeches before all jumping into the void together and ending the server. The server was finally all working together to accomplish our one true goal, starting the fourth season of Lifesteal. And if you want to see the fourth season of Lifesteal, please be sure to head over to my Twitch, as I'm going to be streaming on the server every day for the next week. Also, if you don't mind, please be sure to subscribe. Anyways, thank you for watching and goodbye!